um, just here today to talk about the, uh, you know, the things you've heard about myself and the proclamation that we put in place. Um, basically, it's to encourage those to wear masks so that we don't compromise those that have a weak immune system. So this is what we're trying to do. We're not trying to actually tell folks what to do. We just worry about their welfare, you know, their health. So we want everybody to play their part and to wear, wear a mask. We're in places where you don't or can't social distance to include inside of restaurants, to include inside of your barber shops, which are requirements, by the way. Also, our grocery stores, you know, take a look at those like Walmart, Food Line, Piggly Wiggly. You know, some of those places are getting ready to require you to wear face masks on coming into their store. So the only reason that I put this in place is because I have a care and concern for the safety of our city. And we don't want to become a hot spot like several other counties that are around us. Uh, we have two counties that are like neighboring to us. Uh, they actually are, they are hot spots and they are increasing to include ourselves. We're going up. But we want to put some things in place to slow the spread. And by each and every one of us doing our part, we can get this done. So this is why I put this in place. We're not going to arrest you if because you're walking down the street and you don't have a mask on. You know, you're by yourself. You know, we're not going to, uh, you know, be hunting for people that are not wearing masks whatsoever. That's not how we operate in the city of Kinston. We want to just make sure that you are safe and you, we're doing what we're supposed to or doing what we can to slow the spread of COVID-19. So this is why I'm here today to go ahead and clarify that. You know, I'm encouraging everybody to wear one. If your immune system is compromised all, already, I uh, would appreciate if you use the safer at home approach because this is where you need to be. So safer at home is where you should be if your immune system is compromised. So, and I just want others to consider you uh, when they go out for those that do have compromised uh, immune systems to wear a mask. Uh, not trying to tell anybody what to do. This is not government overreach. This is not violating your constitutional rights, as I heard people say. I'm just trying to make sure that we, you know, as a community, come out of this thing and we have people that have prolonged lives. So this is why I'm here today, just to clarify that.